Thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. For Thou, O Lord, art high above all the art exalted far above all gods. And I exalt Thee, I exalt Thee, I exalt Thee, O said as he entered the world behold I come to do your will O God the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today church celebrate the feast of Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Soon after the feast of Divine Mercy, the next day, church used to celebrate the Annunciation feast of our Lord Jesus Christ. This feast is a great solemnity for every one of us because unless this good news is not announced to this world and announced to Mary and Mary has not responded to this call the salvation of the entire humanity would not have been possible. So as we are at the juncture of celebrating this feast let us thank God and praise God for every blessings that has come upon us. And thanking God's grace of announcing the birth of Jesus. Let us be glad. And in order to celebrate this feast with this Holy Eucharist, let us prepare ourselves, our minds, be clean and holy so that we may celebrate it in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us all. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to God on the highest and honor Peace to His people of good will Glory to God on the highest and honor Peace to His people of good will We praise You, we bless You We adore You, we glorify You We give You thanks for Your great glory Lord God, Heavenly King O God Lord Jesus Christ, only be God and Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. Do you take away the sins of the world? Have mercy on us. Do you take away the sins of the world? Receive our you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. And Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and the glory. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 to 14. And chapter 8, verse 10. In those days, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. And he said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men, that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Speak a word. But it will not stand, for God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in an open year. You do not ask for holocaust and victim, then I said, See, I have come. Your response? See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. In the scroll of the book it stands written of me, I delight to do your will, O my God. Your instruction lies deep within me. Your response? See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. 
You know it, O Lord. Your response? See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Your saving help I have not hidden in my heart. Of your faithfulness and salvation I have spoken. I made no secret of your merciful love and your faithfulness to the great assembly. Your response? See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written of me in the scroll of the book. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 4 to 10. Brethren, it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body have you prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God, and it is written of me in the scroll of the book. When he said the above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, Behold, I have come to do your will. He does away with the first in order to establish the second. And by that will we have been sanctified. Through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. I am the handmaid of the Lord. The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly forward, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son. And you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, 
and the power of the most high will cover you with its shadow and so the child will be holy and he will be called the son of god no this to your king's woman elizabeth has in her old age has self conceived a son she whom people called baron is now in her sixth month for nothing is impossible for god i am the handmaid of the lord mary said let what you have said be done to me and the angel loved her the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers my dear sisters as we celebrate the annunciation feast of our lord jesus christ this brings before us great gladness and joy in our heart because the incarnation of jesus christ has been announced and it is made possible through this particular incident the angel came and asked mary to give her consent to become the mother of god to conceive a child in her womb as it was her decision not to become a mother not to conceive a child keep herself as a virgin that was her great concern and desire as an offering that she does before god because of her great devotion she want to away from the marital or the conjugal union and right now when she had made a pious devotional attitude towards god now she find that god is asking her to become a mother how it will happen because i have already made my vow with my god that i will not enter into any conjugal union so that god is explaining to her how you have to become a mother not in the natural way every human being is having but you are going to become a mother in a supernatural way that the holy spirit will come and overshadow you power of the most high will come and rest upon you and the child will be born formed in your womb dear brother dear sister mary gave consent for that and in the religious realm we call that uh, the consent of mary fiat fiat means its meaning is let it be done to me let it be done to me mary said let it be done to me according to thy word mary is consent that consent of mary that she made is out of her deep trust in the lord if my god is asking to do something she always believed that it will be for god even if some time it may have some time some kind of trouble pain disturbance causing upon me but at the end in the final it will be something good good for a greater thing my god is asking me to do this matter so she had a, a great faith in god and she made her complete trust upon god and thus she says yes to the demand yes to the request of the lord and because of that the incarnation of 
Jesus became a possibility. Dear brother, dear sister, we celebrate this feast. Mary becomes the model of every faithful, every believer all over the universe. Every believer must be just like Mary, should turn their life as Mary did, always saying yes to Lord. with a great faith in the lord from god nothing will come which is going to be evil in my life but on the other hand whatever is coming from my god it will be for a greater good for a greater good my god will be doing everything so i must be able to say yes to my lord all the time every believer is asked by mary on this day of feast of annunciation mary is asking to each one of us say yes to the lord whatever god demands from us we must be able to give she was ready to give because she was ready to give she had great suffering in her life. though she suffered a lot she understood that all my suffering my god wanted and through that suffering great salvation is brought upon the entire humanity so i can be glad even if i am undergoing great suffering in my life this courage we all should take up in our life whenever we are saying yes to god when we are ready to do the will of god there will be suffering behind it in order to fulfill the will of god we need to undergo certain sufferings and pain but that pain and suffering is not a, going to be a futile thing it is going to be great positive effect bringing greater blessings upon us upon the humanity so understanding this we may be able to say yes to god so the feast of annunciation is a call and invitation to every believer to say yes to god our reply to god must be always yes to god there shall be no word comes from our mouth no but on the other hand let us say yes when we say yes with our human human ability we may not be able to accomplish what god is demanding from us and there we always have a faith my god will bring grace upon me to do this mission through my life by myself i am not able to accomplish it mary understood by herself she can't but she understood that the power of the most high is coming down it is going to overshadowing upon me and holy spirit is going to rest upon me so then this holy spirit will make everything possible in my life which i am not possible i am not able to do it for me it is not possible but for my god it is possible so god's grace will work upon me and make it possible though i need to undergo or to take up some suffering i will be able to take up that suffering with the grace of god that challenge we all have to face and there will be great blessing let us hope for this grace let us pray for this grace to take up the to take up the cross to take up the call respond to the call of god and to say yes to the lord all the time let us pray 
let us proclaim our faith in the triune god i believe in god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered Sorry. under pontius pilate was crucified died and was, was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen before you lord i surrender all all that i have been through i give it to you now and though i have some questions things i never understand i come into your presence and i place them in your to you all to you i give it all to you all to you all to you i give it all to you pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church let us pray be pleased almighty god to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten son may I rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for the virgin mary heard with faith that the christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing of power of the holy spirit lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promise to the children of israel might come true and the hope of nation be accomplished beyond all telling through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy holy Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Bless 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again the for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered in one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope rafael our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face our mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him our god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive." those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay. shall conceive and bear a son and his name will be called Emmanuel. In our minds the mystery of true faith we pray O Lord so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go and share the love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. No man can live as an island Journeying through life We're most loved by a mother. Jesus.
Jesus gave us His own. Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus, Your loving Son. Come with us, Mary, come. Come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary. Come.